Whopper. He's like a Whopper. No, but it looks really, really big. Move with the fish, Norman. Don't let it snap the line. Don't worry, Pumpkin. Mummy's coming. Uh, uh, thanks, Mum. Reel it in, Norman. Oh, uh, the silly rope is in the way. Norman need a hand. Can you come and take the tiller? Of course, Charlie. Anything to help my Norman catch his fish. Just hold her steady. This is going to be the biggest fish ever caught in Ponty Pandy. And my little darling will be famous. <laughs> busy as we thought today after all. No, sir. We've even got time for a nice cup of tea. <coughs> oh. oh, well, looks like I spoke too soon. Oh, more trouble on Charlie's boat and Neptune's drifted off. Oh, I see. Sam, take Mercury and the pump to the quay and I'll radio Tom Thomas to meet you there with the helicopter. Yes, sir. Oh, I knew Norman Price at sea would mean a busy day. Are we going to sink, ma'am? No, Norman. Bam and Sam will rescue us. It wasn't me! Penny, Elvis! Start pumping the water out of the boat. I'll go and get Neptune. There, out at last. Now back to the station. I'm not looking forward to washing Jupiter and Venus, Sam. They're the muckiest they've ever been. Are you down yet, Luz? Uh, not quite. But that's all the rope there is. Oh, no! Can we pull him back up? Uh, uh, he's a bit too... Oh, ho, 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 heavy for that! Oh, he's stuck. We need Fireman Sam. Moose, have you got a flare? Oh, yeah. It's in my backpack. I'll try and uh, reach it. Yeah, got it. If you can set off the flare, then someone will see it and rescue us. Stand back, everyone. Here it goes. Oh, look, a flare by the lighthouse. Something must be wrong. I better call Fireman Sam. A flare has been seen coming from the lighthouse. Oh! Sam, Thomas just seen a flare coming from the lighthouse. Someone's in trouble. We're on our way, Station Officer Steele. Come in, Tom. I'm going to need the double harness. Roger that, Sam. One moment, why? Elvis, you and Penny take this and inflate it under roots. Righty ho, Sam. Look, it's Tom Thomas. Things on the top of a light. 
was caused by you trying to get out of washing Mike's van, Norman Price. I'm sorry, ma'am. And I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused Fireman Sam. Don't worry, Norman. I'm sure I can find a way for you to make it up to me. The new hose has arrived and it needs to be fitted to Jupiter. Oh, oh, I can do that, sir. Are you sure, Cridlington? Oh, yes. Are you Count on me, sir. Hey, oh. Sorry, sir. Um, would you like another cup of tea, sir? That would be nice, Crittington. Sparta! Ah, got it! This is great, Sam. You and me working together, just like when we were kids. I know. Like that time we fixed the bathtub. <laughs> Mum was amazed at what a good job we did. Do you remember what she said? You two make a great team. It's a station. Hello? Uh, yes, Station Officer Steele, I'll be right there. I'm really sorry, Charlie, but I'm needed at the station. Oh, um, okay. But don't worry. I'll get back as quick as I can and we'll finish off that tap. Right? Right, Sam. Uh... See you later. Now, what am I going to do? Oh, I know. Charlie! <laughs> what? Oh, oh, Bronwyn. Did you and Sam fix that tap? Sam got called into the station. Oh, don't worry. We'll fix it as soon as he comes back. When's he coming back? My guess is as good as mine. You know... Sam and I were a great team when we were boys, but nowadays, well, Sam's just too busy. Well, if you've got time on your hands, Charlie, I still have a whole list of things that need doing. Dad! Can you take us out in the boat? We're doing a sea life project at school with Mrs Chen, and we can get extra points for spotting sea animals. Please, Charlie. Great! Uh, I mean, uh, of course. Uh, jump in, everybody, and put on your life vests. Thanks, Dad. Sorry, love. The kids need me to take them out. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. I'll have to do those chores when I get back. Thank you for coming in, Sam. As you know, Penny is away today. Yes, sir. The new holes needs to be fitted to Jupiter, and I'm fairly certain that Cridlington will need help. Hmm. I think he might. Oh, I think we're lost, Elvis. We're not lost. The key is this way. That way is the cliffs. No, the cliffs are by those trees. I think you're wrong, Elvis. I'm not wrong. In fact, I've never been more right. I know exactly where we're going. Ah! Say! I told you we were heading towards the cliffs! Oh, oh sorry, boy! Oh, it's a long way down. Ah, but it was meant to have started ages ago. Excuse me, Station Officer Steele, but have you seen Elvis? He seems to be missing. Cridlington is missing? Yes. If he doesn't arrive soon, we'll have to cancel the show. We have no singer. Oh, I say. Oh! I am pulling! It's... I think it's time to phone Fireman Sam. Mike Flood is hanging off a cliff, clinging to a giant guitar. And I thought this would be a quiet night. Tom, this is Sam. We're going to need some back. Roger that. Hold on, Mike. Sam will be here soon. You can't hold on much longer, Elvis. <laughs> Sorry, 
kids, but it's getting late. I think we ought to go home. Oh, please, Mum. Can't we wait just a little longer? Well, we've run out of time. I'll have to send everyone home. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very sorry, but Elvis is not here tonight. So, I'm afraid... I'm afraid there will be a change in tonight's programme. I will sing for you. You? Yes, me. After all, firefighters must always be prepared to step up when the public needs them. Are you ready? Of course. Marjorie and I are always ready. Clap your hands and take your toes. Become your head fit and you fire those. You're gonna have a great big celebration. Everybody's dancing at the fire station. Now, it's time to go. I wonder where Mandy's got to. Mandy? Mandy Flood? Uh, she said she wanted to climb Ponty Pandy Mountain, Mrs Chen. <gasps> Maybe she's gone up there. Oh, dear. I think we'd better call Fireman Sam. I'll head back to Ponty Pandy to pick him up. <laughs> Mandy Flood is missing on Ponty Pandy Mountain. <laughs> Mandy Flood is missing on Ponty Pandy Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, Mandy. Safe and sound. But I don't think you should go mountain climbing on your own again. The mountains are a very dangerous place. I'm sorry, Sam. I just really wanted to climb Ponty Pandy Mountain. Well, I think you need a bit more practice first. I know, Sam. But don't you worry, Mandy. You'll make it one day. And I'll give you lessons any time you want. No problem. Thanks, Moose. Everyone's okay. <sighs> I bet Moose saved the day and did something really brave. No, Elvis. I couldn't save Mandy. I was just the helper. Fireman Sam was the real hero. <laughs> well, I, I don't know about that, Mandy. <laughs> oh, great! I've got my first rescue for my book. <laughs> Chapter one. The Daring Mountain Rescue. Now, tell me Norman Price, you will wear a bow tie, and that's the end of it. Oh, all right, ma'am. Norman, we've got a really exciting job for you. Ooh. Now, the most unusual rescue I ever did was the time I rescued a horse that was stuck in a lift. All that unusual? I once had to winch a monkey out of a chimney pot. Um, sir, uh, sirs, are you actually going to demonstrate one of these rescues? Of course. Now, which one shall I do first? I know. <gasps> Luring a swarm of bees out of a gas barbecue. Call that a new I think this could be a long day. There. All done. Me too. What do you think of that then, Bromwyn? Good enough to eat, eh? Oh, it's perfect, Mike. Wow! Look at that cake! Look, Mum, we've got Norman to shout surprise! Oh, how do I get in? Come over here, Norman. I'll show you. 
Well, I'd better get those fryers on. I want our one millionth customer to have fish and chips on the house. I'm sorry, Steve old chap, but rescuing a tug of war team out of a swimming pool full of baked beans is definitely more unusual than rescuing an opera singer from a tree. I beg to differ. The one thing this is teaching me is that I don't think I've done any really unusual rescues. Don't worry, Penny. I'm sure you will one day. Very strange. Did either of you see what happened to Mike? He went that way. He was being chased by a giant snowball. What? Mike could be down there, injured and freezing. We have to get to him, and fast. But that slope is too dangerous for Jupiter to drive down, Sam. You're right, Penny. Only one thing for it. I need a blanket, a rope, a warm drink, and your snowboard, Norman Price. some more snowboarding. Uh, that snowboard of yours, Norman Price, looks suspiciously like your mother's ironing board. She's not going to be very happy about that. Oh, uh, it was his idea. No, it wasn't. It was yours. Well, whoever it was helped me to save Mike Flood. It was mine. No, it wasn't. It was mine. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Let's get you home. Find her fast. Hey, Sam! Radio the station! This is an emergency! Lily is 
is missing from the beach and the tide's coming in. We need to get there fast. Come on, Vader! <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Chen. We'll find her. <coughs> Sam, I think Radar's heard something. You're right, Elvis. But no, hold on, everyone. Stop calling. Radar's heard something. Let him listen. <coughs> Must have heard her crying. Well done, boy. Tide is coming in fast. Soon it'll be washing over that bit of sand she's on. We must act quickly. Don't worry, sir. Lily, I'm coming to get you. Careful, Sam. The current's very strong. I can feel it tugging at my legs. Whoa! Hold him. It's all right, Lily. I'm coming. <laughs> I got her! <laughs> Come on, Peggy! We can do it! <laughs> well done, everyone! Good job! I guess I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I haven't done very much fixing before. <laughs> <laughs> You mustn't get so worked up. Remember, a firefighter must always remain cool and calm. Uh, cool and calm. Uh, right, Sam. <laughs> what was that terrible racket? Yeah! <laughs> Penny is teaching me how to fix things. Well, Cridlington, perhaps you could learn how to fix things somewhere else. Uh -huh. Why don't you take Elvis down to the dock and show him how to work on Neptune? Good idea, Sam. Now you take care, Mandy. And remember everything Charlie taught you. And let me give you one more hug. Mom, I'm only going as far as the lighthouse. Good luck, Mandy! Oh, Happy sailing, Mandy! We'll be cheering for you! Okay, Mandy. So, what have I taught you? In view of shore at all times and be safe. Watch out for gusts of wind and dangerous objects floating in the water, especially driftwood. Right. Off you go, Captain Mandy. Hooray! Yes. That's I'm just not very good at fixing things, Penny. I didn't do very well back at the station. If you remember what Sam said and stay calm, then I'm sure you'll be fine, Elvis. OK, Penny. I'll try. I'm going to start you with a job that's very important, but very simple. Simple. That's good. This drill is for tightening and loosening bolts. Left to loose, right to tight. These three bolts hold the motor onto the back of Neptune. You just need to make sure they're good and tight. Can you do that? Oh, sure, Penny. That's easy. <laughs> uh, left to loose, right to tight, and it will be all right tonight. <laughs> uh, oh, dear. That doesn't look right. She's going very fast. It must be really windy out there. <laughs> Not a single call so far, Sam. You were told about the firework code must have worked. Let's hope so, Ben. Maybe we should go and check on Bessie. She's very close to that firework display, you know. I'm sure she's fine, sir. Wow! They were the best rockets ever! What's next, Grandad? How about some Roman candles? Far enough 
half a part, Grandad. Oh, yes. And are you lighting them with a safety taper? Of course. Can I start now, young Jane? Yes, Grandad. Just wait till you see the grand finale. The Catherine Wheel. Oh, brilliant! I love Catherine Wheels. Wait! Yes, James? Is the wheel pinned on securely, Grandad? It certainly is. And is it loose enough to spin around? I'm sure it will be fine. Oh, uh, Grandad! What? No! And now it's setting fire to the shed! Oh my! Oh, oh. I think we'd better call Fireman Sam! Oh dear! This is in there! The storage shed at the railway station's on fire! Wait for me! Oh, I just knew this would happen. I thought I checked everything. It was the Catherine wheel. It's not supposed to be nailed on that tight. Page seven, paragraph two. Put your foot down, Sam. Shelter behind some rocks. Those canisters could explode at any moment. Okay, Sam. Firefighter Morris, Bridlington. What are you doing here? We've got an emergency at the Mountain Activity Centre, sir. We'll have to take firefighting equipment up on the Ponty Pandy Flyer. But it's already up at the centre, Penny. Oh no! What are we going to do? <gasps> I know just the thing. Say hello to Bessie! <laughs> oh dear. Come on, girl. Don't let me down now, Bessie. Now, well, Bessie, let's show them what you can do. Come on! That's okay, Moose. But next time you move those canisters, make sure your campfire is out first. I will, Sam. Well, well done, old girl. Oh, uh, yes, just having a little. <laughs> you know, sir, I think Bessie's going to make an excellent addition to our team. You do? Yes, sir. There's just one thing we need to do first. Who? Oh? What's that, sir? We'll see. For coming to the rescue when we needed you, and for putting out a very dangerous fire, I hereby make you, Bessie, an official fire engine of Ponty Party. Yay! <laughs> oh, Bessie, you look marvelous. Well, 
here they all come. Hey, Mom! What do you think of the decorations? They look wonderful. Well done, you two. She really is quite something. Oh, I haven't seen one of these since I were a lad. Look, Lily, it's a steam train. Smoke! No, Lily, it's steam. Smoke! Did someone say smoke? If the water tower falls, it'll crush the train. Stand back, everyone! Oh, cold man is up! A fire at the new railway station? There's a fire at the new railway station! Now keep calm. The weight of the water in that tower will be very heavy and it could collapse at any moment. Elvis, spray water at the base of the tower. Penny, drive Venus up to the front of the train. Roger that, Sam. Everyone, stay with me, you two. Now drive, Penny! Penny pulled her out of the way just in time. Thank you, little Lily. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have seen the fire. Sam, if the train is okay, can we still have the opening ride then, Grandad? I'm afraid not, James. There isn't enough water in the tank yet. Oh, well, oh, never mind. mind. Oh, isn't that a pity? Wait, I've got an idea. If it's water you need, Jupiter can fill it up. What a totally brilliant idea. It is, Elvis. So the opening can go ahead after all. Found you, Elvis. You're under the desk. That was quick. Oh, I made it too easy. <laughs> yes, right. My turn again. I was just wondering, sir, if uh, I might have a go at all. Oh, 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 oh yes, of course, Sam. Uh, I suppose. All right, Elvis. Off you go. I'm going to find a really good place to hide this time, Sam. <laughs> I hope we find something more exciting to take photos of up here. There was nothing interesting in Ponty Pandy. I don't think we should go too far. It looks like it's going to snow again. Don't be a baby, James. It'll be... Wow! Look at these footprints! They're probably nippers or something. But they're huge! They're way too big for a dog. I bet they belong to a polar bear. Come on, James. I don't think so, Sarah. My book says... Oh, Sarah! Wait! Found you, Elvis! We can see you in the training tower about halfway up. Oh, not already. Oh, snow in again. Oh, I think we should go back now, Sarah. I'm freezing. It, it can't be too far away now. L let's just look a bit f f further. Oh, come on, Sarah. It's starting to snow. I want to go home. But, but I really want to get my photo of the polar bear. I, I want to win the c c competition. There won't be a polar bear, Sarah. And I don't want to get lost. Wait, look. Why don't we shelter in this cave until the snow stops? Then we can head home. OK, Sarah. But only because the snow's making me really cold. Hello, love. Hey, where are 
Sarah and James? They're still out with the camera. I'm getting a bit worried. This is all your fault. I'm freezing. But I, I want to get a photo of a polar bear. Oh, I keep telling you, Sarah, there aren't any polar bears in Ponty Pandy. Huh? Um, um, James? I did it! I trained Radar to present the trophy! <laughs> There's a fire at Gillis's shop! Ooh, ooh. There's a fire at the Whole Fish Cafe as well! We have two emergencies! A fire at the Cut Price store and a fire at the Whole Fish Cafe! Sam, you and Elvis deal with the shop. Penny and I will head to the cafe. Right, sir. Fire. So first, I'm going to turn off the power. Petition means no trophy. Well, there is someone who should get a trophy, and the winner is Elvis for being the best dog trainer in Ponty Pandy. <laughs> Nipper, what's that, my treasure? Nipper is driving the train, ma'am. Stop being silly, Norman. Well, look for yourself, then. Oh! He's right! There's no driver! What? Where is Gareth? There's a dog driving the train. Well, I hope he knows where he's going. <gasps> oh! Did you just see a dog driving the train? Not so boring now. <laughs>
was the best train driver ever. That wasn't boring. That was awesome. Uh, when can we come again, Mum? Emergency over. We brought you back a Ponty Pandy Railway souvenir mug, sir. Uh, Station Officer Steele? You're right, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I'm a bit, um, stuck. Stuck? stuck? Uh, Station Officer Steele was demonstrating how firefighters should always stick together. Yes, exactly. That's what it was. A little exercise in teamwork. But, uh, if you could unstick us now, Sam, I'd be, uh, grateful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no. Are you sure? What did you see? Tell me everything! I saw splashes! Big, huge, splashy splashes! Then a black tail! And then I heard a strange rumbling! This is great! It really isn't! The Ponty Pandy Ness Monster is back! People will want to know about this. Bronwyn, Sarah spotted the Ponty Pandy Ness Monster. Charlie, Sarah spotted the Ponty Pandy Ness Monster. <gasps> Mom, Sarah saw the Ponty Pandy Ness Monster! And the Mountain Lake! Oh, there's no such thing. Right, Dennis? Have you heard? The Ponty Pandy Ness Monster is back! What's that you say? The Ponty Pandy Ness Monster is back. And the lake? It will be packed with visitors, yes. Uh, yeah, well, I think that calls for a risk check. I'll go, I'll go. Okay, Crittlington, but remember, it's official business. All right, Penny. Yes, Sam, but I'll be glad when we finish team building. All aboard. Wait for me, wait for me. I want to see the monster. It, oh, I mean, uh, for official fire service business, of course. She's still not holding. We're gonna need more wood, eh? It worked! My plan worked! I bet I see it before everyone else. Oh, Granddad, are you going to collect more passengers? I will, Sarah. What a splendid day this is. Monster look like? Did it have big pointy teeth? Where did you see it? Uh, it was, uh, there. Where? Uh, there! Yes! This, there it is again! What the grizzlies is going on? Wait! It's not fixed! It's the jetty's not fixed! Monster sounded like. I, uh, uh, I, uh... See? Sarah's putrefied. She knows the sounds of the monster. James! <gasps> oh no! There's a radio transmitter inside the center. Call Fireman Sam. Okay, everyone, try to stay calm. Fireman Sam will be here in no time. Not a sheep. I told you to pick it. Elvis? What are they doing here? Oh, Sam! Penny! I... I... Oh, promised to look after them for Norman. You can't keep sheep here, Elvis. What about Station Officer Steele? Oh, what am I going to do? You see, Dennis, Moose isn't the only one who knows about survival. We've run out of things to burn. We need to keep warm until help comes. I'll see what else is on the bus. Uh, there you go, Trevor. Burn this. Oh, thanks, Norman. Ah! The bus! We're on a lake. And the fire has made the ice crack. Get back, everyone! Get back! My 
precious picture of Norman was on that bus. Now we have nowhere to shelter and no fire. If Moose doesn't get help soon, we're in big trouble. Emergency! A uh, bus has gone off the road. We need help for fast. Great tangled hoses! Trevor's bus has gone off the road. Trevor's bus is in trouble! The passengers need our help! When's someone coming to rescue us, Dad? Very soon. Listen. They're coming! It's Fireman Sam! Elvis, make sure everyone is a safe distance away. Penny, you'll be ready in Jupiter. Everybody stand by. Activating wind. Penny, you might need to back up to help the wind. Thank you, Sam. Now, let's get some tea on and make sure everybody's nice and warm. Trevor, you saved it. Eh? Save what? My lovely picture. You knew how precious it was to me. Oh, Trevor, you're a real hero. I'd hate it to lose this. It's Norman as a baby. With no clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> I'd better call my brother. Call Fireman Sam. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> what was that, Elvis? <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Brilliant, Elvis. I uh, don't suppose I could have a turn, could I? Norman Price and his go-kart have ended up in the sea. Hasn't that happened before? bobbing this Halloween, but it's time for some Norman bobbing instead. Norman bobbing? How do you do that? Well, you're allowed to use your hands, but you have to lean out really far. And keep your balance, and... I warned you about that go-kart of yours. I know, ma'am. But I had this brilliant plan to get every sweet in Pontypandy. Every sweet in Pontypandy? No wonder there weren't any left. We like trick-or-treating, too. Um, yes. Sorry about that. Well, Norman, maybe it's time for the others to have some sweets now? Yes. Come along, all you other trick-or-treaters. Yes! <laughs> Well, I 
can't believe anyone would find this movie sad. <laughs> no, it's not the movie. It's smoke. Fire! Okay, listen to me. The fire is blocking the back door, so let's calmly leave through the front door. It's locked! And there's no key! The windows are locked too. We can't get out. Nobody panic. I want everyone to lie flat on the floor, heads down to avoid breathing in any smoke. I'm going to call Fireman Sam. Oh, yes. That's a good tiddle. Ready? Aim! Emergency! There's a fire at the floods, and the ladies are locked inside. There's a fire at the floods house. Let's go, Elvis. Does that mean we won? Wait a minute. That's my house. Again. meant to be helping with the equipment check. Um, and several items of equipment appear to be missing. Ah, well, uh, I borrowed them. Uh, I'm just at the whole fish cafe. Back in a moo, sir. Why would anyone take a thermal image camera, a loud hailer, and a fibre optic camera to a cafe? Wellington? Oh, uh, hello, station officer Steele. Uh, hello, Sam. Uh, sorry it's a bit of a mess. My cafe's been turned upside down. And we still haven't found Norris! What's that? Haven't found what? Firefighter Cridlington! Well, Station Officer Guinea Pig, of that I mean Station Officer Steel. We were trying to find a Station Officer... Like I mean a guinea pig. A guinea pig? You don't need all this equipment to carry out a simple guinea pig rescue. Oh dear, dear. For that job, a firefighter needs one thing only. And I'll be back with it shortly. I'll help you tidy up, Elvis. Let's start with the freezer. Right, oh. Come on, Elvis. Sunflower seeds. Guinea pigs love them. I shall sprinkle them upon the floor and the little fellow will come and eat them. <laughs> oh, yes! I bet Norris loves sunflower seeds. Norris? That's my name. What? Anyway, let's get on with it. I scatter the seeds and... Oh, there he is! And I haven't even scattered them yet. No, sir. The guinea pig's frightened. Look! The cellar! It's on fire! I'll pull Penny. Everyone out of the cafe! A fire at the whole fish cafe! And a guinea pig's lost somewhere inside. Oh. We'll save you, Norris! Norris? Why does everyone keep using my name? It's that guinea pig that needs saving, not me! It's time 
trying to use some equipment properly, Elvis. Let's find the source of the fire, Penny. There. We need to work together on this. What are we going to do? Oh, you're right. Three short flashes, three long flashes, uh, three short flashes. <gasps> That's Morse code for SOS. SOS? Sauce. Does someone want sausages? No, Cridlington. SOS is the signal people send when someone is in trouble. A distress signal from someone on Ponty Pandy Mountain. That signal must have come from the Ponty Pandy Pioneers, sir. They're on an excursion with Tom and Moose. Sam, you and Penny take Venus. You haven't a moment to lose. <laughs> Don't think this branch will hold out much longer, mate. Stand back, kids. Penny, I'm going to have to use the tree spurs. But we haven't tested them yet. We don't have any choice. OK, Penny, the spurs are holding. I'm going up. You keep the safety line clear. Sam. Well, Tom, I guess we learned our lesson today. We shouldn't have been so competitive. And we shouldn't have taken risks. Yeah, and I'm sorry we set a bad example for the kids. Luckily, the Ponty Pandy Pioneers saved the day with teamwork and quick thinking. Should we head home? Just one more thing to do. Let's take James to the mountaintop so he can plant that flag. Lead the way, Sam! Out. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way for Fireman Sam, cause he's gonna save the day. Fireman Sam, cause he's